Hello everybody. Oh, we're all having a fantastic day today. Yes, you're actually seeing it. I'm actually doing a negative PlayStation video. Can you believe it? Now, but like I said, guys, I'm, if, I'm always honest. If I don't like something, I'll say it. You know, I'm another person. You know, I like Xbox and PlayStation. I like them both. I love them both. Do you know what I mean? But there is some bad news coming out of uh, PlayStation. Um, as you probably saw, PlayStation Plus prices are going up in price. And they're not just going up by just a tiny bit. They're going up by, by the looks of it, quite a lot, unfortunately. So, if you look at the PlayStation Plus Premium, that's what I get. Usually, it's £100. So, usually, it's £100 for the full year. It's now going to be £120. Now, loads of people will be saying, Anthony, it's only £20 an extra year. £20 is a lot of money when you think about it. It's a lot of money. So it's went up by, so it was £100, it's now going to be £119. That's for PlayStation Plus Premium. That's what most people get. That's what I get anyway. Luckily, luckily, I've already bought PlayStation Plus for the full year. So I've got PlayStation Plus now until July or August next year. So I, I, I was lucky I got it now. Uh, but next year, I'll probably have to pay £120. Will I pay £120 for it? It depends if the games are good enough. Uh, obviously, when obviously when, 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 when obviously they come out. Now, another thing I want to talk about is the games I've just announced for PlayStation Plus. So, the, 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 the three games, um, the monthly games for September are Saints Row, Black Desert Traveller Edition, and Generation Zero. They are very rough. Uh, Generation Zero, I've just looked up, has got a 50 Metacritic. Uh, Saints Row, I've played it before, don't like it. Black Desert would not be everybody's game. So, the three games. That have come out for September. Not my cup of tea at all. Yes, some people will like them. Some people won't. Now, Xbox also announced a price increase for Xbox Game Pass. But I don't think it was as big as this. Xbox only, only increased it by like one or two pound. This is £120 a year. Um, so, I mean, look. If PlayStation continues to deliver amazing games on PlayStation Plus. Yeah, I'll probably still buy it. You know. Because PlayStation, as you all know, they've got the best games. They've got the best exclusives. You know what I mean? You get, you get what I'm saying? However, if it's not as good, I, probably, I might not get it. I don't know. I'll say what it's like. But yeah, it's not good news. PlayStation Plus has went up in price. The games the games in September, the obviously the monthly games, they're not very good. But the obviously, the, the free games, those, are, those free games are the ones that come out at the start of every month. They haven't announced the other games that have come later in the month. They usually announce like 12, 12 games, I think it is. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the games that they release uh, later in the month, in September, are good. Because even August's, August uh, PlayStation games on, on PlayStation Plus, they weren't that good. So I'm hoping September, when they announce it, I think it's the 10th, the 10th of uh, September they'll probably announce the rest of the games. Hopefully, they're good. Fingers crossed. But yeah, this is not good news. It's one of by twenty pound, which is a lot of money. Um, yeah. But PlayStation, they've got Spider Man Two coming out. Obviously, they'll have some more exclusives to show off. It's not all doom and gloom, of course. You know, people probably still buy PlayStation Plus. Um, but it's just, I just think twenty pound, like uh, twenty pound extra, is a lot. If it would have been ten pound extra, I think people would have been like, oh, that's all right. But twenty pound extra. I know inflation's in everybody. It's in, you know, inflation's in gaming altogether. You know, like I said, Xbox have increased their prices as well. They've even increased the console price. But it's just, it's just, it just sucks to see, you know, things go up, you know, still. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. There's me rant over. Um, yeah. I think this is my first ever negative PlayStation video. Um, but yeah, leave, leave a comment below, guys. What do you think of PlayStation Plus uh, price going up? And also as well, are you happy with PlayStation's September's monthly games? Uh, do you like them or do you don't like them? Let me know in the comments. Now before the video, a huge shout out to Smarties Vigiline just for our streams. They're YouTube members. Don't forget if you do become a YouTube member, you'll get a shout out at the end of a single video just like this. So guys, leave a comment below. What do you think of the PlayStation Plus inc uh, price increase? Let me know in the comments. What do you think of the September's, September games for PlayStation Plus? 
Don't forget, that's not all the games that are going to come out. Like I said there, what they always do is at the 10th, the, the 10th of every month, they, always, they, they announce the uh, catalogue of other games that are coming uh, for um, premium, extra and classic. Um, obviously, to come out later in the month. So hopefully they're good. Fingers crossed. So thank you for watching, guys. Give the video a like. If you, of course, hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for your support. Take care. See you in the next video.